Curdy Trades here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Viofo A129 Plus Duo. And this is a dash cam that has a dual camera front and rear. And it's a 2K front cam with a 1080p rear cam, which is pretty standard for an entry level dash cam like this one here. Um, and we're going to review this and compare it to some of the other dash cams that I've reviewed. I've mostly reviewed similar cameras that have a front and rear cam with similar resolutions. And most of those have been a little bit cheaper level and they've been usually a foreign or overseas brand um, that's a little less well known than Viofo. I've heard a lot of things about the Viofo A129 and some of their other cams as well. It's only been good things that I've really heard about them so I've been curious to test it out and see if it really is worth all the hype that I've been hearing about it online. After installing this camera, the install is similar to any other dash cam. It doesn't take too long if you've done it before. Um, the thing that I noticed the most about this camera is it's a really good starter cam because it has a whole lot of features built into it and you don't need to add anything on. A lot of those cheaper cams you usually will have to add on like a GPS module which will go on the windshield too and plug into it and it's just something else you have to add on to it. But this camera has almost any type of function you would need and it also has them really well set up. I think that the ergonomics and how the dash cam is set up with the buttons, the menus, the features really sets a lot of different dash cams apart from each other because a lot of them do share some of the same internals and cameras. So you're not going to see a huge jump up in video quality because a lot of them use the same chipsets, the same exact cameras as other dash cams that are out there. They, almost all the dash cams that are out there share a lot of these same technologies. Um, so the ergonomics and the things that they include in the box are really what set them apart to me. If you're looking to purchase this camera, you can check out a link in the description. I have 5% off if you buy it from Black Box My Car. I have found that they have pretty much the lowest price you can find it at, even cheaper than Amazon. Now a lot of these dash cams come with a whole bunch of stuff in the box, different wires, different things. Most of them are pretty similar to what they include, like mounts and the wires. Um, two things that I noted that I really like having in this box is this is a small USB um, converter for the micro SD card so you can put your micro SD card to put your clips onto your computer which is nice the, the camera does have a Wi-Fi function you can, so you can link them right to your phone and most of the uh, a lot of the Chinese brands that I've seen their apps aren't super intuitive and they're not set up very well this app is very good on this cam the other thing I really like these are called um, windshield protectors basically it's a piece of plastic and it static clings to your windshield and then the dash cam 3m sticky will adhere to this on your windshield and then the, the biggest thing that these do is when you go to remove your dash cam the static cling just peels right off with the 3m sticky on it if you put a 3m sticky directly on your windshield it's really really difficult to get off you have to like scrape it with a razor blade sometimes the the foam pad can pull apart and it's just really messy to deal with so these are awesome especially if you change out dash cams here and there another good thing about this dash cam is it's super small so it's not easy to see it doesn't clutter up your dashboard it doesn't block your view at all it can hide right behind your mirror which is nice and another feature too is it has a little attachment on the back of the camera so the 3m sticky attaches with the attachment point to your windshield you can actually click the camera off of there if you want to remove it if you're worried about somebody breaking into your car and stealing it or if you just want to take it out for whatever reason um, in terms of video quality it's very comparable to any of the 2k 1080p rear cams that you'll find out there I couldn't really notice a visible difference um, you can read license plates about 30 40 feet which should be good in any situation any crash you're in as long as the weather's relatively nice otherwise it's going to be need to be a little bit closer if it's at night for example or if it's raining or snowing but overall very good video quality this is what you would expect at this price point in terms of video quality the way the camera's set up with the menus and the buttons it all makes sense the button to emergency record is the largest it's right in the center you can't miss it so you just hit that if something happens and you need to record the searching through the menus is very simple. The buttons are marked with what they do and the direction on the screen so you can see what you're doing. Some of them aren't super intuitive. They'll have a weird little symbol and you won't exactly know if that means enter or back or forward. So um, this one is very easy to use to search through the menus. The build quality is also really good. I was surprised at how heavy the camera is right out of the box. I think it does. it is probably because it includes the GPS module in the camera as well. But compared to other similar, similar priced cameras or cheaper cameras, 
Um, it just feels a little sturdier and it seems a little bit better well made. It doesn't seem like chintzy plastic basically. But overall, the dash cam is just set up really well. It's very easy to use um, and it has everything you need in one bundle, which is really awesome for a starter cam. And, and this is a camera that you could get and you wouldn't ever need to upgrade to a different camera. It's like a slight notch up above from good starting cameras. There's a lot of really cheap ones out there. This camera is definitely better made and has anything you would ever need in a dash cam. It will catch any accident that you need and it's definitely more than enough to determine who's at fault in an accident. Um, so I, I do think is the one, the one thing I will say is it's slightly higher priced than some of the other cameras that have a 2K front and 1080p rear, but the reason it's a little bit more expensive, it's a well-known brand. It's better made. It has a lot more features built into it. But yeah, overall, really good camera. Uh, highly recommend it. And check out the link in the description if you'd like to purchase it. If you have any questions or comments, post them down there as well, and I'll answer those for you too.